Our biggest kind of step growth would have been probably the social media impact of the Kardashians, more so Kendall Jenner. Um, we had a few before then of like, bigger bloggers posting, and they were bloggers back then because that was before they changed the name to Influencer. Yep, well um, now it's Creator. Yeah, yeah. sorry, true, <laughs> yeah, true. Creator, yep, Creator, Corey. Yep, Influencer yep. is a dirty word now, <laughs> yeah, now yep. it's Creator. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we had a few of them, and that would always, you know, get us a couple of, you know, not a couple, but like new followers, new, new, you know, customers, but we really, really catapulted when we had Kendall Jenner post about our bikinis. And then that really launched us into the States. By then we were already pretty solid in Australia. We had a pretty good customer base. We had a great mailing list. Yeah. Um, but the States was really because of that power factor of, of Kendall, really. And when was that? And, and tell us how that came about. Yeah, that was, I believe it was 2014. I could have okay. my year wrong. So it only took a couple of years to, yeah. to yeah. Yeah, it was really quick. Like once we, once we got over that first sort of 2013, you know, obviously there are a few pain points and, but nothing slowed down. It, the, the growth would slow down, but it was still always growing. And then when Kendall posted, that was when everything went mad. And we had a bit of a strategy around that. We knew we couldn't reach, because we were reaching out to girls, but we knew we couldn't reach out to Kendall because she was, you know, the big fish and she yeah. just wouldn't reply. So we reached out to all of her friends and they were girls that didn't really have followings. You know, they might have had like 2,000 or something, but yep. nothing big. Two of them are actually Bella Hadid and Hayley Baldwin, now Bieber. Yes. Um, but they were just, you know, Hayley was just a, you know, cute Californian girl. Like really? she's sweet, young. I think she was like 16, you know, like super, super young, um, really lovely. You know, she was a Baldwin, but that yes. was her thing. She wasn't her own. And Bella was yeah. the same. Really? Bella was just a one. They were just Kendall's friends. Wow. And yeah. they didn't have a big following. No, nah, nah. So we gifted them and then hoping that Kendall would come and chase us down. And she did. She emailed me, got my email from one of the girls who yeah. we, you know, gifted and said, all oh, my friends have these bikinis. Can I get some too? They're amazing. So we sent her everything and then that was really it. And that kind of started that movement over there because all those girls were wearing them and that, that though they became more and more influential and it just kind of grew from there. And then we got on the other Kardashians and Kim and Courtney and Kris yeah. Jenner. Yeah, <laughs> she was wearing them. <laughs> and you, yeah. all gifting. All gifting. Yeah, all yeah, yeah. All gifting. Because yeah. you would think that uh, for the Kardashians you have to pay, like, you know, like yeah. High Smile or like they're, they're paying. Yeah, yeah, no, we didn't. We did. It was pretty early on. Yeah. So, you know, we knew that if we wanted to say guarantee a post or guarantee some kind of coverage that we would pay. But yeah. we just, we knew they, they liked the brand and that they wanted it, you know, and they would like, they'd get everything. I remember Kim requested the, this selection. This was early Kanye days when she changed her look yeah. and all the bikinis she selected were like black, white, gray. And we we're like, oh, the Kanye effect. <laughs> like she's getting all the, mon like, all the monochrome kind of vibe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they all really wanted it and they wore it and they never tagged us, but the Daily Mail picked it up and mm. other publications picked it up and they would talk about us. And so it was happening anyway. We didn't need them to tag us in the end because then we would use the photo on our page, tag them and people would be like, holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Let's, you know, try it. Wow. So it was really just fortunate and, and an authentic approach to doing it as well. Hey, Founder Fam, we hope that you loved that clip. If you did, you can click through right here to watch the full interview. You don't want to miss this one. See you there.